This is my wife, Andrea, and as long as I've known her, she's had this knack for taking old outdated things and turning them into something beautiful. So after seeing this about a thousand times, I took it upon myself to make her a channel because she wouldn't do it herself. And so now I'm super excited to share with you the creative adventures of my DIY wife. Hey everyone, welcome back, it's Dean and Andrea, and today we're doing another furniture flip, but this one is unique from any other flips that we've done because this one is actually for our own home. Yeah, we get asked all the time how we let go of these pieces that we paint, and honestly, it's because I haven't had a specific spot for any of them, so even though I love them, I'm not really tempted to keep them because I don't have a spot to put them. But we have been looking for a dresser for our room for a while now, and when I saw this piece, I was like, it just, fits perfectly. And I just have to say, when she says it looks like it fits perfectly, she's using a lot of imagination because this thing was rough <laughs> and ugly, but it turned out absolutely gorgeous. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into this project. Before we get started on this project, we wanna thank today's video sponsor, Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is a healthier cereal option. Every bowl has 14 grams of protein, it's low carb, has zero grams of sugar, it's grain free, soy free, and has absolutely nothing artificial. And to top it all off, it actually tastes good. It comes in a variety of flavors like fruity, cocoa, peanut butter, and my personal favorite, frosted. Which happens to be my favorite too. Click our link in the description and use code DIYWIFE to get $5 off your variety box. For those of you that have already tried Magic Spoon, they've got brand new flavors, so make sure to check it out. I'm told Magic Spoon rarely gives this $5 off sale and I'm not sure how long it will last, so don't wait. So while I grab more milk, let's go ahead and dive into this project. So I have actually been looking for a dresser for our own bedroom for a while now. I just haven't laid it on quite the right piece, but I just found one that looks really cool. The pictures are terrible, but we're gonna go take a look. We're planning on getting it if everything looks good, and I'm excited. Tell me about it. Are you happy? No. Now I know why she didn't show the whole picture of the dresser. Because it was actually shaped kind of like a pyramid. Like tapered at the top. I've never seen a dresser like that. So the dresser, she just cropped off the sides in the picture. The nightstand, she took a picture from the top down. So it's like this optical illusion. <laughs> and it was missing huge chunks where like an animal had chewed off the corners. So we didn't get it. So we've wasted about 45 minutes, yeah. but. That's all right. We'll move on to greener pastures. I hope I find a really cool dresser. <laughs> so after a really disappointing first attempt at finding furniture for our bedroom, things finally turned around a few weeks later when I found this set that seemed to have incredible potential. I found this set on Facebook Marketplace for only $60. And even though they were in really rough shape, the size and the style of these were perfect for our house. But before I could get to work turning these into something beautiful, I had to give these a really thorough cleaning because these had to be some of the filthiest furniture we have ever gotten. These are gross! You like my gloves on. Look at this, this is from someone's house. That's concerning. <laughs> While I was taking the drawers out, I went ahead and numbered the backs of them to make it easier when it came time to reassemble everything. I think my face is gonna be stuck like this for the rest of the day. It's stinky. So in all time rankings, where does this one rank in dirtiness for a piece? I'm pretty sure it's like right on par with a piece that had been stored outside for like weeks and weeks. This is gonna take a while to clean. So 
the top drawers of all of these have velvet in them and it's not something that can be re removed. It's original to the dressers, or at least I, it doesn't look like it can be easily removed. So I'm gonna attempt to spray them because there is dog hair like stuck into the velvet. It won't vacuum out. We'll see, I might end up making a bigger mess, but <laughs> I don't feel like it can get worse than it already is. pulling all these bottom parts off I checked to make sure they weren't stabilizing because sometimes that bottom piece does provide some stability but they're perfectly fine the big one was already cracked and broken and fallen off and then this one I think has some cologne spilled on it it just stinks so since these are going in our house I don't care if they don't have these and so I just pulled them all off and now we're gonna go spray all of those off because even after we're vacuuming them they are still filthy and I don't think I'm gonna get them as clean as I want them with just the rag this is more work than I was planning on. After the initial spray down, I went ahead and gave these all a good scrub with some crud cutter and then sprayed them off again to get all of the cleaning solution off. I do also want to go ahead and add that in the initial cleaning, I figured out that these pieces were solid wood and I would not recommend spraying pieces down like this if you have any MDF or particle board as water can easily make it swell and ruin it. used an old towel to dry everything off just to make sure there wasn't water puddling on any areas. the pieces that we've done these took longer to clean than any of them but after a couple of hours of hard work we were finally done and if you've never experienced October in Texas yeah it's still hot after everything dried out in the Sun I used a wood putty to fill the hardware holes on the nightstands and all of the deeper scratches and gouges on the rest of the furniture This particular putty is one of my favorites because it is inexpensive, it dries quickly, and sands really smooth. Once the putty dried, I went ahead and sanded that down and gave everything a good scuff sand. And I want to note here that the purpose of scuff sanding is to give the surface some tooth for the paint to adhere to. Generally, the ideal grit is anything in the 120 to 180 range. Anything higher than that is typically a finishing sandpaper and is perfect for sanding in between coats of paint or a top coat. Sanding, I went ahead and blew everything off and gave it another good wipe down to get rid of all the sanding dust. Finally, before painting, I grabbed Dean and we wrapped all of these drawers.
I decided to mix my own custom color for this set using two different melange paint colors. So I'm mixing two colors because I really wanted a slightly warm black where it's still going to read as black but I want warmth to it and absolutely no like cool or blue toned black and this jet black is a pretty clean black but I wanted to soften it up and warm it up a little bit by adding some of the brown and so I'm basically doing the same percentage of each of these from these jars. I just didn't have a container big enough to add all of this one and all of this one. It's still black, it's just gonna have a very slight warmth. So this is not gonna turn it into like a dark brown. It'll just be a slightly softened black that has a little bit more warmth to it, which is what I want. I get asked really often how much I water my paint down and to be honest, my super professional method is to get it to about pancake syrup consistency. After the first coat of paint dried, I did a light sanding with 220 grit sandpaper in preparation for the second coat. Here in the Texas sun, paint dries incredibly fast, so once it was dry to the touch, we brought everything inside to continue in the air conditioning and out of the sun. You might have noticed that I didn't spray the top coat like I normally do, and that's because I used hemp oil as the protective coat for this set. I decided to use hemp oil because I really love the rich velvety matte finish that it gives, especially over black paint. But I typically don't use a wax or an oil finish on the pieces that I sell because it does require some upkeep. After I finished applying the oil, we picked the kids up from school and we did a little after school cereal taste testing. Okay, we're gonna do a competition to see which flavor is the best. So we're gonna taste each one and then we're gonna vote in the end to see which one is the best. In round one, we started with peanut butter. Round two was cocoa. Is it good? Yeah. Here. 
round three was my personal favorite, Frosted. Hang on, man. We're trying to do a taste test here. Hang on, man. Grab that spoon. Hey, we're trying to do a taste test. And finally, round four was fruity flavor. And of course, in the end, it was time to choose their favorites. All right, Levi, which kind's your favorite? These. All right, Riley, which kind is your favorite? I like this. All right, Jude Man, which one is your favorite? All right, which one's your favorite, Asher? Okay. Click our link in the description and use code DIYWIFE to get $5 off your variety box. For those of you that have already tried Magic Spoon, they've got brand new flavors, so make sure to check it out. I'm told Magic Spoon rarely gives this $5 off sale, and I'm not sure how long it will last, so don't wait. I let the oil soak in overnight, and then the next day wiped away any excess with a lint-free cloth. Finally, it was time to attach the new hardware and get this set put back together. Well, as usual, this thing turned out absolutely gorgeous and I can just so see it fitting right within our home. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. So I know this dresser is actually really simple. It's all one color, there's no custom base and it has really simple knobs, but I love it. I love the simplicity, the shape of it, the hardware is my absolute favorite. I love that matte velvety finish that the oil gives over the black paint. And when she says she loves this piece, she had literally told me at least 25 times throughout <laughs> this process, I just love this piece. It just looks so great. It's gonna fit so well in our home. So she really is into this piece. It's true, I really do love this dresser. And part of the reason I'm so excited about it is we have been planning this big bedroom makeover for our bedroom that we'll have a video on next week. So you're gonna get to see how I would style this in our room and kind of how my whole vision is coming together. So yes, the piece is more simple, but it fits the space perfectly and it adds to it rather than being like this huge distracting complicated dresser that just doesn't really fit the space well. So that's it for this dresser flip, but we are super excited about next week's video and Andrea is gonna be doing an incredible feature wall. She's gonna be using some budget design items and doing what she does best 
and that's taking a small budget and making things look incredibly high end. So definitely stick around for next week. Waiting on my babe to get a screw She's searching in the garage, she might never come back Are you doing yourself? No, I'm, I'm being the entertainment in between waiting for you to find a screw You ready? You ready? Hey guys, welcome back to hey another guys, video hey Finally found the Welcome home, dresser This dresser, I really love this dresser your name is Andrea. What was I gonna You're say? DIY wife. How yeah. weird is it to love a dresser, Chris? I love it. I've said I love this dresser more than I've said I love you in the past two days. That's so true. I love you more than I love this dresser. Maybe that'll be my like new She's compliment like, I to you. Love I love you dresser. even more than our dresser. Hey babe, I love you. I love this dresser. <laughs> I'm excited to watch next video. I am excited video. to watch that video, actually. I want to watch it right now. We better get to work on that. We better get to work on it. That's right. Yeah. We gotta do the makeover. Do the makeover. Film, film the makeover. makeover. Edit, edit the makeover. makeover. Edit the makeover some more. Edit it just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Then publish it. Oh, and then do all the headshots and stuff for it and voiceovers. Oh, and do all the headshots and voiceovers for it. More editing. Then publish it. Yes. YouTube's easy. YouTube's an easy. It's oh. like it's passive income. You don't oh, have to work you at barely all. even do anything. <laughs> it's not harder than my other jobs combined at all. But it's anything. fun. We're going to do something we like. But it's fun. We enjoy it. We enjoy we work one together. another. And with our powers combined, yeah. it's synergistic. You know what I mean. Let's go get some coffee. It looks delicious. <laughs> it looks delicious. How did that happen? How is that possible? 